Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. One of our friend requested to publish video about invoice split. So here the request is that we would like to create single invoice for multiple orders or multiple deliveries. In the opposite way, second scenario is that for every order or delivery, one invoice should be created. So one order, one delivery equal to one invoice or multiple order or multiple deliveries equal to one invoice. This is the basic requirement. So how to achieve this and what is the configuration required to achieve this? This is the request from one of our friend. First of all, let's understand the basics about invoice split. So invoice split happens whenever any changes in the header partner values level, right? Then if any changes happens in the header values, in the transactions, right? That means if VBRK values or header VBRK values are different for the two different items or two different uh, deliveries or orders, then the split will happen or some changes return in the data VBRK, VBRP, copy control routines. Let me try to open um, an invoice, for example. So I'm going to VBRK, I'm giving the billing type as F2 and I will execute. So during creation of the invoice, so whenever any changes for an item for two different items or two different reference documents the reference documents might be order or delivery so if any header header values are different right that time system will try to create the multiple invoices split invoices will happen in other words if in if any of the two invoices uh, if uh, header partner values are different so if you go to the table vbpa so in VBPA table, we see the partner's data, right? So here, if any of these invoices, the values are different, right? Header partner values are different, then also split will happen. This is one thing. And the last thing is that if any changes written in the copy control routines, the transaction code to access delivery to building copy controls is VTFL and order to invoices VTFA. As of now, I am going to use the T code VTFL only, which is delivery related billing. If I go to VTFL, so I am going to looking for the delivery type is LF, sorry, billing type is uh, F2 and delivery type is LF. Select this one and click the item. So, and uh, in the item category, we should select our item category. Suppose I'm going to select the standard one TAN 10. And double click on this item category. So, here you see the data VBRK, VBRP. So, this is that copy control routine, right? This is a description of the routine data VBRK, VBRP. So, whenever if in your in your suppose in your business if you client requirement is to split the invoices based on order number right so one order one invoice should be created no combination no collective invoice should happen shouldn't happen basically so one invoice one order means one invoice or delivery wise i want to create one invoice or ship to customer wise i want to create one invoice once and pod wise also suppose today POD has been done for several deliveries and uh, every deliveries, all the deliveries should create only one invoice, right? So POD date wise, we need to create a delivery and a goods movement date, right? In LIKP, we have a field called WA, DAT and square ST. So goods movement date wise, I want to split the invoices, right? So whatever, however we want to split, right? That time we should uh, use this routine data VBRK, VBRP situated in the copy control routines from source to target source might be order or delivery and billing type go to the item item level item category level 
for example our item category here is tan okay so in the tan we see data vbrk vbrp let's open this uh, routine 007 so either we can use this uh, standard routine 007 or we can develop the custom routine that is also very much possible developing the custom routine also very much possible we can develop a custom routine and assign that routine here in this item level data vbrq vbrp level right so if you see here one more thing we should remember is that to split the invoices right to split the invoices sap provided one predefined field in vbrk that is jukri jukri means combination criteria Okay, let me go to the ta uh, VBRK table and uh, if I search for Jukri, you see Jukri means combination criteria. So remember this field in the interview also, they might ask you that where we can see the, I mean, what is the intention of the Jukri field or where we can see the value, split value in which field in the VBRK table. So this many ways they might ask this, they, they, they might ask this question, but answer is only Jukri only. Is a predefined field provided by SAP. If you see here, all other fields starting with other other alphabets A, B, C, D, something like this. But this is Jukri. It's starting from Z only. We know that, right? In SAP, Y and Z means it's a customized changes, custom field, custom program, custom announcement, something like this, right? To that intention only, SAP provide this field Jukri, where we can update the unique values to split the invoices as per our request or requirement you see here this see uh, 003004 different invoices different split criteria you understood right and okay so if you see this 007 routine they have SAP also splitting the invoices based on few parameters, right? What are the parameters? First one is SPART. SPART means division. Then VT, WEG, that is distribution channel. Then ABT, NR, then EMP, ST. So these values that are updated to the field Jukri in VBRK table. So whenever any of the items or any of the orders or deliveries, if a Jukri value is different, if Jukri field is uh, getting different values, then split will happen. As I said earlier, whenever any field in the header level are different, field values are different in header level, split will happen. So header level is nothing but Jukri also as part of header level field only. So this field also will will be the reason for splitting the invoice right yeah so we should use this jukri field in the data vbrk vbrp routine to split the invoices so if you want to create the cultivate invoices for multiple orders or deliveries means we should keep on update that order or deliveries for here and if you want to split it based on ship to customer means update jukri for uh, all the deliveries with the same ship to customer then split won't happen one more thing i would like to highlight is that there is one program mv60 a top this is a standard uh, include program provided by sap okay let me try to open this one now sorry it's taking some time okay fine then so you see here in this um, include yeah you see there's a one structure it's a web coding language there's one structure defined by sap here inside the structure sap defines some field here you see vbln is a vbrk table field net way net way net value and document condition number vbln yernum created by created on created time changed on right belner rfbsk is nothing but a posting status field sfkn right mwsk tax code and fktyp document category right so these many fields has been declared here in this structure 
the reason behind declaring this field in the structure is that for this field even though the values are different split won't happen so sap decided that don't do any split for the field specified in this structure apart from this fields any other field has any different value then focus on this field only do the assumption for this field right this is one of the way sap did the exception to avoid the split for this field so split won't happen in case of two invoices where we see different values in this field right okay so this is about this invoice split and quality invoices if you still have any concerns please do let me know thanks everyone we'll meet in the next video